Guys, if I'm being honest with all of you, I can't really cook. I've never been able to cook, nor do I have any future plans to learn how to be a great chef. However, I saw this Tampa Bay Buccaneers family cookbook from the 1996-1997 season online, and I just had to buy and try my hand at cooking some of the recipes that are in said book. It has loads of recipes from former Buccaneers coaches, players, front office staff, and everybody else in between. That's why in today's video, I am introducing a new video series coming to this YouTube channel called Eating Some W's. That's a W. Let's eat one. little bit of a visual of what's in said cookbook just for an example here the first recipe we are doing today is Monty Kiffin's corn dip but as you guys can see it has the name of the coach their position on the team that year their full name their spouse's name their date of birth their years in professional football all their children's names their greatest moment in football and their long-range goals obviously Monty Kiffin winning a Super Bowl in Tampa Bay was his long-range goal I have to say I think he did a pretty good job in regards to that but yeah like I said today we're making Monty Kiffin's corn dip a relatively simple recipe that should be good now for this recipe, you're gonna need half a cup of mayonnaise, half a cup of sour cream, one fourth of a teaspoon of salt, one 12 ounce can of corn, half of a green pepper chopped up, three green onions chopped up, and three fourths of a pound of sharp cheddar cheese. Now guys, again, this recipe is super simple. Mix the mayonnaise, sour cream, and salt together in a bowl. Add corn, after you've drained it of course, the green peppers and the green onions and mix that together as well with the other ingredients. After that, add cheese and honestly it's your option as to whether or not you want to mix it in with the rest of the ingredients. Me personally, I mix the cheese together with all the rest of the ingredients as well and serve with assorted crackers. However, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be using Tostitos chips. Guys, I'm smiling right now because that is legit good. Again. I don't know how to cook. I have no idea how to cook, okay? And the first suggestion that I can give when making this recipe is definitely get a bigger bowl. I don't know if you guys noticed my bowl, way, way too small, okay? Way too small. The ingredients were almost pouring out of the top of the bowl. Definitely get a smaller bowl. Again, I think all the ingredients work well together. It tastes absolutely phenomenal. I was a little bit worried that the green pepper was going to be a little bit overpowering, but whenever you mix the mayonnaise, the sour cream, a lot of the cheese, it's a very cheese heavy type of recipe, but whenever you mix all of that in together, it tastes absolutely phenomenal. Like This is really, really good in my opinion. And you know, for the first recipe, you know, I gotta say, Monty Kiffin's corn dip, I give it a W. That's a W. Let's eat one. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the first episode of Eating Some W's. If you have any more suggestions on uh, ways to improve this type of video format, please let me know down in the comment section below. Again, I apologize if the audio sounded a little bit weird. I'm not in my usual recording area, so it might echo a little bit. But again, if you guys want to uh, go ahead and look up any more recipes from this cookbook and want to recommend them to me, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below as well. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And until the next episode of Eating Some W's, I'll see you in the next one. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.